A professor is doing some penis size research and they're seeking photos of penises. So if you guys want to contribute to science, <laughs> or you just want to show off your man junk, <laughs> this is a thing you can do. Springfield, Missouri. Alicia Walker is used to the Snickers, the puns and the raunchy jokes, but she's not fooling around with her latest research project. The assistant professor of sociology at Missouri State University launched a study this month that explores how the size of a man's penis affects the rest of his life. And she's documenting this work with pictures. Pictures of what you ask. Don't ask. You know what they are. <laughs> the kind of work I do is not for everybody, she says. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> looking at penises all day? I mean, who can do that? It was like when I went and got a vasectomy, I thought to myself, well, these women just like, you know, just went at my balls with like, you know, this kind of, this sob, and they, when they prepare, basically when they prepared me to get snipped, I thought to myself, how do they, how do they do this all day? Just looking at dudes' junks, you know, just grabbing guys' balls and slapping like <laughs> some kind of lather on them all day long. I just thought that was wild. These jobs aren't for everybody. <laughs> Good point. Uh, now, Walker's project looks at how penis size and, uh, more importantly, a man's perception of penis size affects overall health, sexual activity, condom usage, self-image, social interaction, and mental health. So far, I'm hearing a lot of anxiety and a lot of low self-esteem related to penis size, she says. As part of the study, she hopes at least 3,600 men will fill out an online survey and upload photos of their genitalia. The participants must be must be age 22 or older. So I guess if you guys want to participate in this study, uh, you know, upload your junk. I think I might. Why don't I participate in it as well? I'll do it. If you guys are into it, I'll do it as well. Uh, just Google this this study. <laughs> I'd actually like to get her on the phone and talk to her a little bit about this. That would be cool. Maybe I'll try that. She said the photos are necessary to ensure men carefully follow the instructions when measuring their flaccid and erect penis. Okay, I didn't have to say that, but it was in there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, man. She says that she's not recruiting locally because uh, she doesn't want there to be anything dicey. She doesn't want colleagues, friends, and neighbors to, to feel pressure to participate. Uh, so she's opening it up to, like, all over the place. So you, no matter where you guys are living, you can probably send in a picture of your dick. So isn't that cool? Isn't, isn't, oh, isn't the internet amazing? <laughs> Which is, what are you using it for, guys? You saving the earth? Nah, nah, we're just shooting dick pics all over the globe. <laughs> It's like a whole, a whole internet web of dick pics just flying around. It's basically for dick pic, you know, exchange, this whole internet that you've invented. <laughs> so now Walker says a man's penis size can change his self-image and trigger depression and body dysmorphia disorder. Body dysmorphia disorder, yeah, that's a thing. It's serious, she says. Some of them actually commit or uh, attempt suicide over their penis size. Wow, this is, this is really interesting. Uh, I think I'd, I think I'll uh, contribute to the study because why not? I like this is one of those studies where I'm like you know you know, I'm, you know how guys I get about studies I usually go this is so stupid what a waste of money how dare you we should be saving the earth I don't know but this one's kind of funny and um, I don't know I I kind of support this one I don't know why I just like this one <laughs> I'm allowed an exception okay this isn't gonna solve Earth's problem but there's something funny about this I like it it's dynamic it's weird I kind of dig it. <laughs> And there's good information to be to be gleaned from this, you know? I think uh, we could help men <laughs> feel better about their penis size. Oh boy. Anyways, uh, if you want to send me your dick pic, hey, oh, I'm sorry. I meant if you want to email me, it's funnyjones at gmail.com. You can call 646-450-2012. Do not send me dick pics, by the way. That was a joke. Do not send me dick I know you weirdos will start sending me dick pics. I do not want them, <laughs> okay? You can also DM me. No dicks! You, you will not be able to DM me dicks. I, I say no to that. Um, dicks will bounce out of my DM box, for sure. Wow, that was a weird thing to say. Uh, DM me at Funny Jones on Twitter and Instagram. And my Facebook is Comedian Jonesy, one word. And, uh, yeah, so love to hear from you.